Hi doctors, I know you are concerned that you have been trying to publish papers, you have been trying to write research articles and you have been submitting to different journals but you have not been able to publish your paper yet. Why is it happening? What is the mistake you are doing? That's the concern you have, right? That's why you need to talk with me. Let me tell you a few tips that will help you and you will not make this mistake again. And whenever you will write a paper, you will submit it. It will have very high chances of publication. If not in one journal, then eventually it will be published. Sooner or later, it will be published. So what are the mistakes that you're doing? Mistake number one, first of all, before I talk, to, I talk about the mistake, I want to share this with you that don't submit the same article to two journals or more than one journal at, the, at a time. No, one journal at a time. That's it. Otherwise, you are going to put yourself in some kind of trouble. Journals may ban you if they find out that you are trying to submit your paper to multiple journals at the same time. So that's number one. Second thing is you are putting lesser value in your paper. Your paper lacks value. Now, what do we mean by value? How the journals will be attracted to your paper. Where is the value? That's why we teach our students in our CIBMP program the value, how you can create value. I can give you some tips on how you can create value. Number one, what you need to do is compare your data with previous studies. Yes, so if you have a clinical trial or if you have an observational study or if you have a review article, whatever data you have collected, you collect more data and compare it with previous studies. The recent studies, compare them with previous studies. If you have male studies, compare them with female studies. If you have adult studies, compare them with children's studies, but make some comparison. That's how you bring some value. Second way you can bring value is your thoughts. What do you think about these studies and this comparison? What do you think about it? These are just some tips I have just given you how to create more value. Keep adding more content and create more value like this and you will notice that journals will eventually start to accept your papers. They will start to love your paper. Of course, there are so many other things you can make your paper valuable with and I just had limited time so I just discussed one a uh, couple of those, uh, those uh, ideas but as I said, I'll repeat again, don't submit your paper to multiple journals at the same time, one journal at a time, and then add more value in your paper by comparing new studies with previous studies and your data with something else. For example, male studies with female studies. I'm just giving you an example. These are some ways you can create values. Of course, there are plenty of ways, 50, 60, probably more ways you can create value. And we discuss that in our program. And if you, if you still struggle to create value in your paper, then we need to talk send me an inbox or message me.